Yeah, you talked a little bit about the preparation for war as violence on the planet, and I do want to build on that. Um, in preparing for this webinar, I watched a lot of your past interviews where you talked about China, and as someone that's primarily concerned about climate, what really stuck out to me is your assertion that in order to combat climate change, we need to work with China, and we agree with you here at MAPA. And I just wanted to hear a little bit more about what you thought that might look like, um, how you envision us working with China on climate change. Thanks, Zoe. Um, so, yeah, um, you know, the fights in the White House right now about China are with Kerry, uh, who is, um, you know, taking on the climate change problem. Um, my old boss, Jerry Brown, uh, who also um, is concerned about the planet, has created a entire school at Berkeley. I think it's called the US China Climate School. Um, he's done it with the number one Chinese that the number one that represented China at COP in Paris, and they've been working together. Um, he's been working with Bill Perry. I mean, like, um, I don't, all I know is that the only way we're gonna address any of the problems that we have right now is through cooperation. We live, I mean, war right now, it just, it's it's just my brain like fries at how stupid it is, antiquated it is, um, barbaric in the sense of just the, the level of, of violence and, and, and destruction that it creates that we as conscious people would even think that war is the answer. It just baffles me. And so, you know, right now with the, the problems that we have globally, the only thing anyone should be doing in, that has any level of power right now is working on global cooperation on all these issues. Climate change is happening. Look at right now with these floods in Europe and China and the, and the fires in the US. Um, it's not like it's not like you have to imagine yourself somewhere. We are in the middle of climate change. We are also in the middle of a war on China. It's not like in the future. It's happening already. And um, the the tools of war, uh, you know, as Medea wrote, uh, you know, her book on drones. It was like we we keep looking at Code Pink as the tools of war continue to shift so that you can't call it a war, right? Um, we saw this uh, with the war in Iraq. Um, don't let anybody see the body bags. Don't um, have, uh, you know, recruit soldiers instead of draft soldiers. All the ways that got in the way of the war in Vietnam, oh, we can't do that anymore. We have to do this differently. Oh, now we're not gonna use soldiers. We're gonna use drones. Oh, now we're gonna use warfare and, uh, um, <laughs> lawfare and um, we're going to weaponize human rights. Um, so um, there's these wars are going on right now at a time when our attention needs to be paid to how do we stop this escalation of climate change. And that's that's the first thing. The second thing is to to do this preparation for war. We know that it is, it war is the greatest contributor to climate change and thinks Abby Martin is gonna make a movie about this. She's working on it right now because nobody talks about the effects of war on the climate and how bad it is. And she's worked on some numbers that show even if we get off fossil fuels, if we're still raging, we're still moving towards a horrendous uh, climate catastrophe. And people need to understand that more and more but um, it really needs to be core to this mess. I mean, it was core to the beginning of the messaging of China is not our enemy. China is not our enemy, and we need to be cooperating on climate change, and we need to be cooperating on poverty and and the you know the, the people the needs of the people. Yeah, um, on the topic of cooperation, you sort of touched on this a little bit, but maybe you can go into a little bit more detail. Um, outside of climate change, what other opportunities do you see for cooperation or diplomacy between the U.S. and China? Well, um, 600 years ago, uh, European countries jumped in their boats and colonized the world. And um, China burned their boats and built the silk road 
And trade is an important way to be in relationship and learn from each other and be in cooperation. And actually, probably if we cooperated more in the market, and I'm, I'm not calling the market capitalism and calling the market the place where trade happens, where, you know, we serve the needs of the people through the relationship of trade. I, I think that if we started to cooperate more in there, we would be destroying the planet less we would be serving the people more. So that's another place of cooperation. Also on poverty, uh, China figured out a way to take all of its people out of poverty. Now, I mean, just to put that in some context, in um, 1825, China was 25% of the global GDP. And then Europe and um, England and everybody you know, started attacking China. And in 1970, it was one of the 10 poorest countries on the planet. Um, and so now it's in competition with the United States as, as, as an economic com competitor. So, you know, um, this is a lot to take a billion and a half people out of poverty. Like, how did that happen? That we don't have a curiosity around that, especially many of us live in cities where we have people living in tents outside of our front door. And um, how did that happen? Now, some of the processes might not be what some people like, but at least knowing it could happen and quit saying it can't happen, that's a step forward. Um, you know, uh, on, I think we don't understand uh, where technology is. I think that needs cooperation, not, uh, um, alienation, because technology, if you talk to people inside of it, they say they don't even know what they're creating. Like it's at a level beyond you, maybe human understanding. Should we be cooperating in this area? Um, shouldn't we be learning from each other? Shouldn't we be sharing? Um, it feels like we're playing with a lot of very dangerous things and, co and cooperation is necessary. Um, so, yes, where we are in this time in history, it needs to be all about cooperation.